Hello and welcome to Ramco TV. Banner Engineering recently introduced the Q2X series of miniature self-contained laser and red LED sensors. In this brief video we are going to go over some of the details of this newest sensor family. Currently the Q2X series is made up of adjustable field sensors as well as retro and oppose mode. Let's start with the adjustable field models. I'm going to open up a browser and navigate to ramcoi.com. Once there, hover over Vendors and select Banner. Next, I'll scroll down and select the Q2X series. I uploaded several data sheets to the website. Here is the information for the adjustable field models. You can see that there are laser and LED options along with a variety of connector and output options. For this video, I mainly wanted to focus on the performance curve charts. These two charts show a static minimum separation distance between object and background. These are really helpful to determine the correct sensor and sensing distance for an application. The values on the y-axis show the separation distance from object to background. The x-axis shows the distance of the sensor to the target. For the Q2X series, Banner shows three different reflective materials. Even though the sensor is looking for the angle of light being reflected back, there is still some difference in the amount of separation from object to background, depending on the color reflectivity of the part. Say for an example, I have an application where the target and the background is the same material. For instance, maybe the application is on a bottle cap feeder, and you want to ensure that a white cap is flipped the correct way. If the difference between the top and bottom of the cap is more than, say, 5 or 6 millimeters, you should be able to place the LED version of the sensor at, say, 100 to 120 millimeter sensing distance and be able to detect the proper orientation of the cap. Keep in mind, this is stating static object, so I would never recommend pushing up against a spec if it's not necessary. In this application, I would see if 100 millimeters would be far enough, and it should do the trick. Let's give it a try. Okay, I've got the sensor set up. This is the LED version. It's mounted a little over 120 millimeters from the table, indicating light. And there's the cap. When I have the cap in one orientation, you'll see that the output is turned on. You see the indicating light there. And then when I flip the cap over and I put it inside the beam, you'll see that the output is turned off. So in this application, the sensor can pretty easily tell the difference between the cap being right side up or upside down. Let's take a quick look at the laser version now. The laser version has a smaller spot diameter. The beam is essentially 2 to 4 millimeters depending on the sensing distance. The range is from 20 to 100 millimeters. The performance curves are very similar to the LED version. Let's throw something really challenging at the laser version and let's see what it can do. I have two business cards that are roughly 0 0.70 millimeters thick. Here's a close-up view of the laser sensor. The one really interesting thing about this sensor is it's only 14 millimeters from the front to the back portion of that mounting screw. I'm going to position the sensor about 40 millimeters from the target and put it at a slight angle since these cards are a little bit shiny. This particular model has an M8 4 pin connector, uh, bipolar NPN and PNP output, and it's uh, light on mode, meaning that when it senses the target, the output will turn on. I've got it connected to the indicating light over to the right. The sensor itself has a three turn mechanical adjustment. It's clutched. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to uh, adjust the sensitivity so that the output will be off with one card and then the output will be on with two cards. You can see that I was able to adjust and set this up pretty quickly. These sensors are a really great choice in applications that require a very small footprint or where you need to detect different colored materials at 
a similar distance or ignore backgrounds. For more information on the adjustable field, opposed mode, and retro versions, be sure to check out our website at ramcoi.com.